Paper House followers. Today we are playing with metal stamping and I am going to be using these two kits here because we are going to be making some bracelets. Um, I'm showing off these two kits because this is a great um, entry level set to be getting started in metal stamping. So in our basic stamping kit here, you're going to get that metal stamping blank that you're going to need to stamp on your hammer. It's going to give you a, a blank so you can practice stamping out your letter set. And then it gives you a few other um, stamping blanks that you can go ahead and create something with, maybe a keychain and your enamel marker. Now in this essential bracelet kit, it's going to have all the tools that you need to make a bracelet. So your bracelet bending bar, your bending pliers. So these are nylon pliers. They're going to just help smooth out rounding your bracelet. It's going to come with two sizes of bracelet blanks, aluminum, four of each. It's going to come with another little thing of enamel and then bracelet uh, stamping guides. So these just have guides to help you stamp straight. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I just want to kind of show off this um, basic stamping kit. So your stamping block is going to come in a package and it's going to have a little black rubber piece. That is what you're going to want to go underneath. Um, and that's just going to help absorb shocks when you are hitting your hammer and stamping. It's going to help with crisper marks. This is going to be your practice blank. I really suggest going through your whole alphabet and just stamping it all out. Um, that's going to help you get a feel for each letter and how hard you're going to need to hit your stamps to get a good impression. So one thing I want to point out. The set that comes in here, it's Br the Bridget set, but it does not have any engravings on these. So you're not gonna know which direction you need to be having your stamping blank face you. So what I like to do is see how the A is going up like this. So when I'm stamping, I just wanna have it coming just that way with me, right? So I like to take either a Sharpie the best thing I find is nail polish. Just take a little drop of nail polish, put it at the top. So I know when I'm stamping, I need that dot to be facing me. Once you get a little bit more comfortable metal stamping, I suggest looking at the other letter sets. So we have this set here. This is one of their signature sets. So this can stamp um, into stainless steel. But the reason I suggest also checking these out once you get a little bit more comfortable is you're not gonna have to go through that step of putting a piece of, or a dot of some sort of paint on your stamp like these. These are gonna have the engravings, so you know that when it has that engraving, it's facing you. And that's exactly what we're doing with the little dot of paint on there. Um, a few other things that did come in this is, I do have these little stamping guides as well. And I have a stamping enamel, so that is going to be filling in my letters. And then a couple blanks. So we aren't going to be playing with those today. You can end up having a little fun with those later. And I'm going to probably bring in this smaller size blank. So here are the two sizes. So I'm going to grab this one fourth blank. And I am going to go ahead and remove the blue from the stamping guide or stamping blank, excuse me. And we're going to set that right there in the middle of our stamping block. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my stamping guide book. I'm going to grab one of these blanks from here and I am going to probably work from the middle out and writing my letters. So I'm going to stamping out, enjoy the journey. So that has 15 letters. So I'm going to start with that middle letter lining up right on this orange, the, or this orange line. 
And then what I like to do is go outward from there. Um, now I'm going to come down and stamp right on the lines. If you don't like that, then I would suggest putting your letters right in between each dash mark. It just really comes down to preference on this and how tight you want your letters. So this is going to be the, and then we're going to have a blank. So we're going to skip this line and come in here and start the end of my enjoy. So Y O J N E. And each of those letters are right below that dash line. So we go to that E, we're gonna skip, and then we're gonna start journey. And that's gonna be each dash line. All right, so that should have my verbiage centered. Um, again, I usually kind of write out my verbiage or name, count how many letters and find that center because this longer orange dash mark is gonna be your centerpiece for your blank and is gonna help line you up. A few other things to look at on these stamping guides. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up closer. So see those dash marks? and how I lined up every letter underneath that dash mark. Again, you can go in between, it just comes down preference. Okay, do you guys see those blue dash marks there? So those blue dash marks, those are gonna be for different widths of your um, aluminum bracelet blanks. So this top one that runs all the way across, that is gonna be for our one fourth bracelet blank. And then going down one is going to be for that three eighths that come in the kit and then so forth. So we're going to end up lining up for this one, that first line with the bottom of our bracelet blank. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that orange line is nice and centered on my stamping blank. Make sure it's nice and centered. I'm going to make sure my blue line is running all the way across. And then that looks good. So this blank I'm going to have to be holding with my hands. If you are having difficulties, there is a thing called straight tape by Impress Art. Um, it's really just kind of like masking tape. Um, so if you have something like that at home, you can go ahead and just put it right at the ends and on both sides and that should hold it in place um for the purpose of this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to be holding it in place while you stamp so i make sure that e is facing me the proper way and i have my hammer ready to go and i'm just gonna hold my blank with my other hand and i'm just gonna slide the letter until it hits that stamping guide. So once it hits that stamping guide, that means I am nice and centered. And what I wanna do is you wanna make sure your hand is firmly on this. The base and palm of your hand is on your table and you're holding this nice and firmly. And then we're just gonna come in with one good hit and that should have left a good enough impression so we have our first letter. Again, I suggest if you have never metal stamped before, go ahead and practice on that practice blank and stamp out your entire letter set. I know that there's certain letters that I just tend to struggle with more than, than others and you get a better feel for how much oomph you need to put behind your stamp. So again, making sure my stamp is centered to that dash mark Sliding down and catching, making sure my hand is firmly planted. And there's my end. And I'm just gonna continue down the way. And again, I wanna make sure my letters are always facing the right way.
And the best way I find is holding with your right or your free hand that's not holding your letter stamp to make sure you're keeping your blank still until you get your letter in place. Okay, so this is a Y. And if this was not a entirely uppercase um, set, I would usually drop my Y, but everything is going to be setting on the same row. If you are dropping your letter, you'll be catching like you normally do on your stamping guide. And then you just slightly lift it and pull it down. So the stamping guide, you can stamp right through this and um, still get a good impression. But we are just going to be catching it on that top part. All right. Now we're going to come in with that T. Again, making sure that letter is facing us. Coming in with that H. If you don't think you got a good enough hit, you saw right there, I did go ahead and I came back in with a little bit lighter of a oomph behind my hammer, just to make sure I'm still getting that even impression. And now we're coming back in with that E and this E is gonna be our center point. J. I might on that one I kind of moved my um, letter so I might have a part of my letter that's going to have a deeper impression than the rest if I feel that way I could just give that a couple little taps um, but you want to make sure you're leaving that nice and flat and firm against that bottom so you get the cleanest impression you can Now I'm coming in with that U. And again, I'm just sliding that letter, hitting that blank, not hitting the blank, hitting the stamping guide, excuse me. All right, now coming in with that N, sliding my letter down till it hits that stamping guide and a nice firm hit. Two more letters, you guys. Making sure my stamping letter is centered on my dash mark. My last one is that Y. Again, centered. It hits that stamping guide and a firm hit. All right, so we are done making our first bracelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stamping guide. And now I'm gonna come in with that stamping enamel. And it's just a little twist top on here. And I'm just gonna squeeze out and just rub it right in where all the letters are. And it's gonna go ahead and get parts of this bracelet blank that have not been stamped but that's the best part about this enamel is it is designed to only stick to the engraved part of our stamping pieces so i am going to go ahead and just cap this back up and you're just going to give it a firm push now if you're needing to replace this later on I do want to point out it comes like this in a package in the store so they do have a larger marker and we do have a black a green and a silver so I do suggest letting this dry for a minute to three minutes you want to make sure it's really getting dried and into your engraved pieces otherwise you could just be wiping it straight out Another thing I suggest is we're going to do a pat method and then wipe it away. Um, if you're not patient like me, I tend to kind of wave it back and forth or blow on this. 
so that it might dry quicker. Okay, so I think we've waited long enough. We will see. We can always put a little more enamel on here. I kind of put a lot on here, so I'm just going to pat it. Again, just patting away anything extra on the top. And now that I think I got a good amount off, I am just gonna wipe. That is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out a little bit. If you think that you're, you didn't let your enamel dry long enough, you can go ahead and put some more on, let it dry and then pat and then wipe it away. Um, if you're, again, still having problems with some of that enamel getting in there, it might be because your impression is not deep enough. So you'll just want to go ahead and practice if that's the case. So now since we're going into bending the bracelet, we're going to bring in that bracelet bar. You're going to see there's this little lip here. And we're going to put one of the ends right in there. Now when you go to bend this, you want to make sure your thumb is right here, holding it against the the half circle and then your hand is around the base and then you just want to push it until it hits that 90 degrees and then you're going to switch keeping your thumb right there and then you'll bend it all the way around now you'll see that there's a little bit some imperfections and that's what this plier is for so i'm going to pop this guy right in there and he's going to help round out our bracelet and I just take this all the way around all the way to the ends until it's nicely shaped and look at that it is so cute and you have your first bracelet done now you have plenty more bracelet blanks to do something just a reminder, you're going to have four of this 3 8 inch aluminum bracelet blank. And we're going to have three left of this 1 4 inch aluminum bracelet blank. So you can go ahead and create gifts for your friends. Um, or again, all of this creates a really great starter kit to gift to someone that you love. All right, you guys. Thank you for tuning in and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.